Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Gemini Divination Oracle 333. Back at you again. Thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, y'all subscribes, and everything that y'all have done for this channel. Remember, your comments, your shares, your subscribes, it helps out with the algorithm for Gemini Divination Oracle. So let's get into the message. Let's see what needs to be said. So I'm telling me to light it again. Maybe someone has been going through a lot of things, dealing with a lot of things, having to redo a lot of things I'm getting, but um, it's going to get done. I'm getting to, it seems like every time you're trying to get your to-do list done, it's always something else, but it's for your betterment. Don't look at it no different. Um, I'm getting to tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, some type of surprise, surprise abundance or wealth is coming your way whether it be from you know someone paying for a meal that you couldn't pay for to a lottery ticket all the way down to you know you win the lottery or some type of money that you were waiting on or something that's coming towards you within the next 48 hours um let me get into i ain't gonna get into what lies beneath i ain't got time for the drama right now or figuring all out that but I'm thinking, matter of fact, um, which deck is this? This is what's the T. Uh, I'm going to put this to the side. This is going to just complicate some situation that may come out. But don't forget, if you are members only, if you have not received your reading yet, um, hit me up, hit my, long, hit my line up so I can situate you and schedule your reading. As we normally do every month, if you're new to the members only, you do get a free reading, 15 to 20 minute reading, and I send that via link to you, questions that you may need asked within that 15 minute, 20 minute span. So y'all, I mixed up a deck not too long ago. It's the Karmic deck and the Kipper deck. And you know, I seem to get a lot of good things out of this. So, you know, let's see what's going on. Let's see what needs to be said. First card out. I'm getting something about a courtship or someone courting somebody. Or this is a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. Maybe someone's favorite color is purple and pink. Like old school. Like, them, you know, these pinkish, purplish looking colors. Moving forward, maybe someone's birthday is in April or the 4th. What else, spirit? Clear, clairvoyant, clear audience messages for the collective of Gemini's. Okay, sudden wealth. So some type of sudden wealth is coming, y'all. In between the 4th and the 11th, I'm getting. Or maybe someone's birthday is June 11th or June 4th or June 15th. Maybe some type of sudden wealth, 777. Maybe you've been seeing 777. I'm getting something about destiny, where you're going in your career. So maybe you're going to have some sudden wealth in your career. What you do, you can be a reader. You can be self-employed. You can be a bartender. You can be a hairstylist. You can be a barber. Making it all make sense. Y'all know what I mean. In your 10th house to be exact. So sudden wealth is going to be in your 10th house. What else, spirit? I'm getting something about the main female. So I'm getting, besides the situation I talked about, because I was trying to figure out where does this courtship come in? Okay, I'm getting that maybe you're in a relationship with somebody. Um, Maybe you have some type of sudden wealth coming towards you dealing in career and business, but something about a main female. Maybe you're the main female in a relationship that's getting sudden wealth from a business to help out with bills or something like that. I don't know, making it all make sense. Maybe someone's birthday is on the 6th. Um, maybe you're dealing with someone whose birthday is April 2nd, February 4th. Maybe someone's birthday is on the 6th or the 13th. What is this about, Spirit? 22 official person. In the center of this reading is an official person. I'm getting Gemini's. You are a main. Okay. It's something to do about 
a, an official person that's supposed to be with you, maybe this person that's supposed to be with you has some type of sudden wealth. Something about 2211. Main female. So maybe you're the main female dealing with an official person or going to deal with someone who is an official person. It can be a legal, a, a lawyer, or whatever this is. But maybe this person has money. And maybe you may be getting into a relationship with someone who has money, who has you know, merit, something like that, y'all. What else, spirit? I'm getting your version of what's new and different about using uncondition unconventional way in. So something to do with an Aquarius. So Aquarius does have something to do with this. Maybe some maybe maybe you work with an Aquarius, you deal with an Aquarius. Maybe this Aquarius is an official person. What else, spirit? Child. Maybe you're in a relationship with someone. Because I'm getting all of these situations. Maybe someone's 24, 42, 26, 28. Maybe somebody was dealing with somebody and somebody had a child in this relationship and maybe someone's co-parenting. Maybe someone got into a relationship with someone who was an Aries or an Aquarius. And I'm getting something about somebody was in a relationship with someone. Whatever was going on, something about a main female. Gemini, maybe you were the main female. And someone ended up having a child with the person that she was dealing with. And the person stepped out or you ended up leaving a relationship and you ended up having a child and this person still doing whatever they doing. <coughs> Cancer. Maybe you had bad luck with relationships and there's going to be a relationship that comes in where like it's secure. You don't have to worry about all the weird things and the things a person can do that you've endured. You went through all that already. It's time for you to get the good now. Those lessons just showed you how people can be and just be aware. Speak up and don't just be quiet about the situation. I'm getting marriage. So I'm getting that you was married to someone a long time ago or whatever the situation may be. You ended that, separated from that. It's another good relationship coming towards you. Maybe somebody was born on the 3rd. Maybe somebody was born in March, close to Aries season. Maybe someone was born in Scorpio season, Aquarius season, Aries season. Uh, maybe you um had a child with somebody. Your child's not 18 yet. Maybe they're 9, 7, or six spirit what else do we need to see what is the t what i need to see for the collective gemini's clear clear one clear audience messages for the collective tell me what i need to see i'm like how did it just, how did my hoodie just fall off by itself but making it all make sense yeah i've been protecting my um my uh my crown chakra i don't know why my mind went. i don't know uh, just getting things going y'all i'm getting something about a drama starter someone is dealing with a drama starter and someone is dealing with someone that needs drama to make their life run like how gasoline make a car run i'm getting crying over you Maybe a drama starter or someone who started drama is crying over you maybe someone made maybe wanted to paint some daggone picture that you know you was a bad person and you weren't and maybe that you pay and you they realized that you weren't a bad person or the people that they tried to portray that you were a bad person but then when gear 
out of the picture, out of the equation, then people are starting to see who is who and what is what and who really wasn't. It was really the other people that were trying to portray you being whatever this was. Um, moving on. I'm getting you moved on. You're, you, you moved on from a drama starter. Someone's crying over you. Someone's sad, hurt, and upset. You didn't have time for it. Whatever they had going on, you want to move accordingly to good energy and not that low vibe and negative energy. You are uninterested in this drama starter. This person may be upset, but then the same aspect, they need to respect people and boundaries. Moving forward, legal issues. Someone's crying over you because really they need you, they needed you around to help out with legal issues. Like someone being able to still have the comfortability of life with no discipline and still getting what they want. That's why they're crying over you. Someone is uninterested. You are the one that's uninterested in all the drama that comes with this person. What else, spirit? Dirt digging. So moving on, dirt dig. Someone's probably trying to figure out what you got going on, being that you're not dealing with them. They dirt digging. They looking for dirt on you. Or whatever the situation may be. You may even be in the bushes and have an unmarked channel, unmarked page, whatever this is, and or social media platform, or however the situation may be. And you know, happiness hater, you're uninterested, and this person is hating on you because you are not gonna be the one that helps them with their karma or their legal issues. This person is trying to dig up dirt to see what you got going on, to see what you're doing, to see if you're talking shit about them. But you are too busy winning. I'm getting someone's hurt. They're in their ego, getting in the way of relationships. So make it all make sense. Then I'm getting same shit, different day with this person. They don't realize that you stopped the relationship because it was the same shit, different day. You were done with the drama. You were tired of all the legal issues or the anger management situation that this person has. You were over it. You know, people don't be realizing what needs to be done and what people will and will not tolerate. What else, spirit? I'm getting, someone's getting bad karma. This happiness hater is getting bad karma because they always start in drama. Always want to say what he said, they said, but can't say exactly all that was exactly said. Someone took pieces and parts like a newscast to get, you know, just to get, <laughs> just to get the gif of it. Wolf in cheap clothing. Oh, y'all, I knew I had a sneeze. I had a tickle in my nose. <laughs> Someone is a wolf in sheep clothing. Some, But someone's crying over you. Someone will lie. Someone will snot. Somebody will sneeze and do whatever. But then and yet will still be lying. They just don't want to lose what they were benefiting and getting from you. Whatever the situation is, probably you left this bad karma or someone who was a wolf in sheep's clothing and they hurt by you leaving a situation through their pride, through their ego, not what they did because of how you set the tone. Moving forward, your light irritates their demons, y'all. Your light irritates their demons and they feel like when you elevate and you have certain things going in your life and they don't, they're envious and they're jealous and they're trying to look around and see how you got that and what made you so different and what made you so special and all this whole mess that you ain't want to hear nothing about. Careless. Somebody being care. I mean, I said careless. This isn't careless, but this is carless. Someone is getting bad karma. Someone finna be carless. Someone ain't finna have no car. Someone car finna be repo. Something about car. Or someone's finna have car issues. I'm getting something about someone's moving. Someone who is a wolf in sheep's clothing that lied to you, that deceived you, they're moving. Someone caught some type of case, too. I don't know what's going on, but somebody caught some type of case. And then I'm getting cyberbullying. 
something about a cyber bully, something about somebody who likes to bully other people, drama starter, you know, they only do things behind the screen. They never just do it in person type of energy. Yeah, someone's creeping. They trying to see what you got going on, how they can come in and do whatever. You know what I'm saying? How they can do what they want when they messed up where they were at. It's a whole lot of people coming in because they ain't got a place to stay. It's getting cold, y'all. Someone got photo evidence proof of someone being a bully or whatever the heck going on, y'all. Y'all be aware of all this craziness that's going on around you. How people will make you think. How people will make you think. And it's not even that. Let me pull a couple cards. From this What Lies Beneath Deck. And I'm going to leave this where it said. If you are seeing this first, you are members only. If you are um, seeing this after members only. If you want to see all of the videos earlier, come on to members only. Let's get a free, a free 15 to 20 minute reading every month. I'm getting someone made a bad choice. Some type of bad choice somebody made. Maybe somebody made a bad choice and now they're blaming you for you standing on boundaries. Spirit, tell me what I need to see for the collective of Geminis. I'm getting anger management. Somebody needs anger management. All somebody does is scream and yells about what they need, what they want, but does not put in effort and blame someone else for why things don't go through. But then they were part of the effort that they didn't want to be a part of. Like weird energy. Setting the record straight. Maybe someone's setting the record straight about someone having an anger issue or needing anger management. I'm getting someone is it setting the record. I'm getting something about some type of record is going to be straightened about someone being envious about you. Someone who is angry, mad all the time. Maybe they're upset because you maybe you can hold down the household. Maybe you can hold down your position at work. You know, maybe you can hold down being a good friend, but then yet it's like they don't have that frequency. What else, spirit? Clear, clear one. Clear audience messages. I'm getting big failure. So maybe someone is angry right now. Someone's upset right now due to them not having money. Or maybe someone went to go pay for something and it it, it, and it didn't go according as planned. Or maybe someone is more frustrated when they don't have money or when they don't have enough sleep. Maybe there's somebody around you who doesn't have money and isn't getting sleep. And maybe someone's setting the record straight. Spirit, what is this about? Exactly. Something about a hater in the center of a reading, a person that has anger management, who's a hater, who has no money, you know, them being in the, whatever action that they're going to take, them being envious and jealous is going to shit. It's going to set a whole bunch of records straight about them really being envious, them really being jealous and them just wanting, you know, to feel good all the time. Envious of your sex appeal they're a hater like you ain't got nothing to do i'm hearing a hot head someone's separate maybe someone's separating from a relationship maybe someone's separated from someone that served no purpose in their life and i'm getting something about somebody being upset because they don't have what they used to have being if this separation is happening Maybe someone has some type of addiction going on. And being that somebody has some type of addiction going on, that is in itself. That hurt and it messed up the whole relationship. Depression. I'm getting total action and drama. So, y'all, it's going to be some total drama. Maybe your energy pulled you away from a situation. You don't know that something is about 
to go down. Like you don't realize, but it's something that's about to go down. And your spirit team did not want you to be a part of something that some, like it is dangerous to be around someone or a group of people and you and and people cannot control their energy, their emotions, and it can hurt or bleed off on everybody else. One person's decision can really harm and hurt, you know, other people. Like real, I'm really getting that. How someone's feeling in their pride and ego can hurt other people. I'm getting bad choices again, y'all. Someone, something about bad choices, and you have to protect yourself from these bad choices. Because guess what? Sexual protection may be needed. Pregnancy test. Someone may be pregnant right now. Maybe someone didn't want to be. It was just the heat of the moment right now. Maybe someone watching shit go down. But thank y'all for y'all like, y'all share, and subscribe. Remember, trying to hit me up for a message. I'm here. This is what I do. This is my 925. So if you're not a member, messages are going to be $30 this week. If you're members only, your messages are going to be $25 this week after you get your 15 to 20 minute free reading. Um, if you're trying to see what them lives look like, I may go live again tomorrow, but I am going to go live Friday. So Friday live vent table, we're going to do that. But until the next one, y'all, thank y'all for y'all support. Thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, y'all subscribes. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. Until the next one, y'all, peace, love, prosperity, and protection.